Hey guys, and it's in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to copy file using Java. So let's create the new package in our file handling project and let's call this package file copy. So file copy. Okay, and let's create inside of it a new Java class called copy file. And we will have, have our main method in it, so click finish. So before we start, let's import a few things. So import java.io dot everything. Okay. So import java dot nio dot file dot files. And let's import java dot nio dot file dot standard copy option. Okay. And now we can create our new method for copying the file. So it will be public static void and let's call it copy file. And it will have a two parameters. So the first parameter will be our source file. So file source. So this file we want to copy from. And the second parameter will be file destination. So this will be a destination to copy this source file. Okay. And let's throw IO exception. Okay. Now let's create our buffer. So the byte array. Let's call it buffer is a new byte array with the length of 1 kilobyte or 1024 bytes but you can use any number here usually it is a power of 2 so it can be like 256, 512, 1024, 2048 and so on so the next thing we need is a file input stream let's call it this it will be our fi new file input stream and the parameter of this file input stream will be our source file okay the second thing we need is a file output stream let's call it fls and it is a new file output stream and the parameter of this file output stream will be destination file Okay. Now we need a variable called red that will be, that will store the actual byte number of bytes read from the file input stream, and let's call this integer variable red. Okay, let's just declare it. Now we need our while loop, and inside our while loop we will read we will read uh, from the file input stream to the buffer and we will count the bytes read and we will place them into our read variable so read is equal to file input stream read and read those bytes to the buffer okay and this mustn't be equal to minus one okay so now when we have read those bytes into our buffer we need to write those bytes from the buffer to our destination file using file output stream so we write pass or file output stream write and we'll write the buffer with offset of zero and the number of bytes actual bytes read from the file info stream will be our red variable okay and now after this just close file output stream and close file info stream and that's it okay so now in our main method let's create <coughs> two file objects so file source 
will be equal to a new file and inside these brackets let's write the destination of our file or the location of our file so on the desktop I have this dictionary file it's just a dictionary of English words so as you can see and uh, it has size of 4.36 megabytes or 4,506,904 bytes and this is the location of this file okay so the file name is dictionary and it has the extension of txt so let's paste this use the double slashes okay and at the end append the name of the file and its extension so dictionary.txt so let's create another file object and it will be the destination file so this is a new file so this file doesn't exist yet and let's just copy and paste the, the path to the desktop and the name of this new file will be dictionary2.txt okay so this file doesn't exist yet as you can see there's only a dictionary file there's no dictionary2 file okay so let's call our copy file and before we can call our copy file method we need to write try and catch block okay try catch io exception because this method throws io exception and copy file source destination okay so and the uh, IO exception will be E sorry for that and if there is an error let's print system print line and let's just print line the error or the IO exception so let's save this and now we'll run it but before we run it just write like something we can copy this and we'll print before the copy file method is called we'll print start and after it is finished we'll write finished ok and run it and you can see the start and the finish and that means the uh, copy file method successfully successfully copied our file so let's check it as you can see there's a dictionary 2 file and it's all good let's see even the size of it it is 4.36 megabytes so exactly the same as the dictionary file so this is our custom made copy file method and there's another way to copy files so instead of this copy file method we'll just call files class and from the files class we'll call the static method copy okay and the first parameter is the uh, path of the source file the second parameter is the path of the destination file or the target and the third parameter is just the copy option so the now let's just say source dot to path destination to path and as a third parameter we'll call standard copy option uh, class and 
copy attributes okay and surround this with the try catch block okay so we can catch the IO exception and instead of this dictionary 2 let's write dictionary 3 so dictionary 3 doesn't exist yet let's copy okay it has finished now we have our dictionary 3 okay all good here let's open it all good okay so that's it so you can use this built-in method called copy from the files class or you can write your own method just one like this or something different and that's it well thanks for watching guys and see you in the next tutorial bye